Let's go to Danny Dumaresk on line one. And Danny Dumaresk, I have your press release in my hands here. You're making the case that uh, essentially all of this investment into Muskrat Falls is not, as the Premier has stated in the past, necessarily uh, going into an asset that we own 100% of. It is, in part, owned by Emera. Is that the point? Yes, that's absolutely the point, uh, Pete. Over the last uh, several weeks since I became an intervener with the PUB, I have perused thousands of pages of evidence uh, uh, pertaining to the investigation. And uh, on Monday, I filed my first 45 request for information to Hydro, preparing more to uh, to get to the truth about what is happening in our electrical system. And certainly I was uh, listening in the last few days, and, and particularly this morning, uh, to the Premier of this province uh, coming on your station to reiterate that, uh, you know, don't worry about the investments that we're making, uh, the billions of dollars that we're putting into Muskrat Falls, uh, because uh, it's all owned by, once is owned 100% by the people of the province, so therefore, you know, you have nothing to worry about. But uh, as I uh, gleaned through the uh, evidence a few days, I, I came upon this uh, uh, notation that in uh, February of last year, uh, $67.7 million was paid by Mira uh, to Nalcor, uh, which resulted in, uh, in Emira becoming a 35% owner of the Labrador Island transmission asset, mm-hmm. 1,100 kilometers, which is valued, uh, uh, you know, uh, at around three. It is uh, probably the most uh, critical. You better uh, say piece. that number again, Danny. You, you, you dropped out because of the beep on your end, I guess. But it's, it's yes, the uh, government has provided a loan guarantee of 2.4 billion, uh, but certainly uh, we expect it to be a bit more than that. Uh, it's certainly going to be in the neighborhood of a three billion dollar asset. Mm-hmm. Uh, that uh, uh, certainly, I believe, 99 percent of the people of this province believe that we own it. Uh, but uh, lo and behold, now I have it confirmed that uh, 35% of this uh, asset is going to be owned by Emira uh, for 50 years. Mm-hmm. Uh, and, of course, what that means is that uh, for the next 50 years, uh, the uh, private shareholders of Emira are going to be receiving over $50 million a year in profit uh, from the ratepayers of this of this province uh, at a time uh, when our rates are going to go uh, through the roof and certainly uh, absolutely critical money to maintain this electrical system is not going to be there and and that that really concerns me uh, especially in light of several other uh, circumstances. Yeah, now this is not the first time I've heard this. this. We've discussed this on the program before, not necessarily me and you, but I have discussed it with other people that essentially this constitutes the first partial privatization of assets uh, under Nalcor uh, or Newfoundland Hydro, uh, that this is part of the deal, that they're going to be a partial owner of the link from uh, Labrador to the island. A lot of people have uh, a lot of problems with it, but it seems to have come through relatively unscathed in terms of the uh, flak back uh, on it. Uh, are you surprised by that? And is is there anything new in this? I know it goes contrary to what some of the statements have been from the Premier now, but, uh, you know, it doesn't well, seem to have caused much, much of a stir. stir. Well, uh, you know, a lot of this deal is complex, and a lot of it uh, certainly uh, evades the... Uh, uh, the Standing from the uh, from the people out there, but uh, yes, in the beginning, three four years ago, there was uh, reference to uh, Amira getting 29 percent in return for an investment of 600 million dollars. Uh, but uh, now that in now that ownership has gone up to 35 percent, and uh, and certainly uh, the people, I believe, in the beginning thought, well, maybe we needed a partner to be able to. Uh, shoulder some of the financial risk uh, along uh, the road to this project and uh, but now we know that when this decision was made to increase the ownership from 29 to 35 uh, percent it was made knowing that the federal government was providing a loan guarantee for 2.4 billion so there was no concern about having the money to be able to get this done the other thing since then is that now core is now confirmed that 100% of the cost overruns for this particular asset 
is going to be borne by the people of this province, and therefore Amira, again, has zero risk when it comes to putting in any more money. And the bottom line is that uh, the investment that they are making is guaranteed all of the money they're putting in, plus the cost of borrowing that money, and a profit of 8 to 9%, will be guaranteed by the Public Utilities Board uh, on the backs of the ratepayers of this province. So I'm not sure uh, that the people of the province understand uh, exactly what has happened there and, uh, and the context and the, uh, the result of this particular transaction, which is going to be, instead of money being kept in this province by the government of this province to lower light bills, it's going to be 50-some million dollars going out to the shareholders of this uh, Toronto Stock Exchange Corporation. And that is fundamentally against uh, what I understand to be the position of the people of the province. I know many years ago there was a, a near revolt in the streets when there was some talk of the privatizing of hydro. Uh, but the, this is very much a giant step uh, in the full privatization. And, and certainly I, I think uh, if we can uh, get this debate uh, going in the province, I'm sure that the people of the province will want to see 100% of our hydro resources kept in the hands of the people. And uh, I want to point out that while Premier Marshall has outlined this several times, certainly what they've done indeed is not uh, uh, what they're saying in word. Why, I, we're, we're out of time. We're up against the news. But i got to ask you, why would the province do this if, as you say, there's zero risk for the uh, investor here, uh, Amira, and uh, they're getting a uh, guaranteed profit with, uh, without the risk? Uh, why would they go there if they didn't need the investment? I want them to answer this. This is why I'm raising it in the public like I am today. I want them to tell us why they did it. Uh, who was a part of this transaction, who caused this transaction to uh, be confirmed, and exactly what uh, is the consequence of this transaction. These are questions that I want answered, and certainly I hope that by making it public as I have today, uh, it will result in those answers, and then people can reach the conclusion whether it's justified or not. I certainly don't think it's justified. I think this deal is bad and it should be uh, cancelled. And 100% of the money that comes back from any possible sale of an electricity remains in the hands of the people of the province to lower the light bills instead of putting it into the pockets of uh, investors on Wall Street. Well, we know it happened last time when uh, privatization of hydro was brought up by former Premier Clyde Wells. It didn't go ahead. Uh, this is uh, seemingly very much the same thing in a different form here today. But anyway, listen, thanks very much for bringing it up. We do need to go to the news. Uh, we'll be talking about it again, I am sure. Thanks, Pete. This is not a baby step. This is a billion-dollar step and something that's got to be held in check and stopped immediately. All right, sir. Thanks again. All the best. Bye-bye.